ready. Five, four, three. Welcome to another episode of Cashflow Mondays. Now, I know I haven't been around in a while. I've mostly been posting traveling vlogs, uh, at home vlogs, and stuff like that. However, we're back and we have new episodes, new topics to discuss, and more fun. Now, we're gonna switch things up a bit. Each month, we'll be focusing on a specific topic, and this month, we'll be focusing on credit and insurance. And today we're gonna be talking about credit cards. Now I know growing up many of us have gotten a lot of negative opinions about credit cards. However, today I am here to tell you why you should have a credit. First question is what is a credit card? Now a credit card is a card issued by a bank or a building society that allows you to purchase goods and services on credit. Now, the big question is, how does a credit card work? So the bank gives you your credit card to use to do your daily transactions and your daily business. And at the end of the month, you receive what is called a credit card statement. Now, a credit card statement is a document, whether electronical or physical, that basically tells you what you've spent so far on the card, i.e. what you owe and what you have that is available. So for example, if your credit card, the maximum is about $50,000, and you spend $25,000, this means you owe the bank 25, and you still have an additional $25,000. Now because it's 2020, most persons like myself, opt to get our credit card statements via email, or we can view the statement in app. Here's an opportunity where you can actually build your credit. Responsibly using your credit card places you in good standing with the bank to show that you're a responsible adult and this assists you in the future for getting loans, mortgages, and other services issued by a financial institution. Now that I've defined what a credit card is, the million dollar question is, who did I go with for my credit card? Now, there are several banks in Jamaica that issue credit cards, Jamaica National, Scotiabank, NCB, Sagicor, Victoria Mutual Building Society, which is a building society and not a bank. However, I went with the National Commercial Bank, also known as NCB. Why did I go with NCB? I've been a member since like forever. And it was a very smooth application process. Number three, I personally think their app is very easy to use. The user interface is wonderful. And I can also view my statements in the app, as well as pay the bill through the app. So I chose NCB. Because I got my credit card from NCB, for this video, I'll be focusing on the different packages that NCB had to offer. Now, there were different types of cards that NCB had to offer. Well, the three credit card packages that were presented to me were the NCB Visa Classic, the Classic Key Card, and the Lovebird Key Card. So which one did you think I went with? Well, I chose the Lovebird key card. Now, each of these packages come with a variety of incentives that may be beneficial to you. However, I'm young, I like to travel, and I chose the Lovebird key card simply because one, you could actually earn travel points that can go towards a hotel stay or a flight. You can also get assistance whenever you have an emergency when traveling or when you have an accident. In addition to that, a percentage of every swipe is donated to educational initiatives in the island of Jamaica. Have you been convinced yet to get a credit card? I think you should. As soon as you're old enough, find out which package is suitable for you. Talk to your parents, your guardian, a teacher, or a mentor. They can easily guide you to getting the right package suitable for you. And if you're already a grown adult, talk to a friend. Call a customer care representative. But I urge you, build your credit as soon as possible. If you need assistance with this, I have a video on how I was able to save 120,000 JMD per month at 23 years old. And this all can be attributed to good budgeting. Now, with that said, if you're going to apply for a credit card, the key word to remember is being responsible. Do not spend what you don't have. It's very simple. 
I know it's easy to swipe swipe away but at the end of the month you're gonna get that credit card statement and if you're not able to pay it back you're gonna get that beautiful thing that is called interest now interest may not be your best friend so I urge you be responsible budget stay safe sanitize and take care I'll see you next week goodbye and